Olympic runner Carrie Tollefson is an expert on wellness in Minnesota, but she'll be the first to tell you that she learned healthy living from her parents, John and Ginger, who set an example for Carrie and her sisters. Living a healthy lifestyle and living a long life is important to our family, and we want to live life and have fun and travel and go run hills. That's what I want to take away from watching my mom and dad. I want to make sure that they're living the life they want and that I'm not trying to make them live the life I think they should. Tell me a little bit about how you were involved in your parents' care. My father passed away when he was 67. I've lived a little bit longer than he has now. My mother passed away when she was 82. And she was in her home up until she passed away. I took her to a lot of football, basketball games for our kids. My dad passed away at 67 also from cancer, so my mom was on the farm. Well, my mom loved to do things, and she didn't want to miss out on anything I was doing. So I would pick up she and her friends, haul them to church dinners, to you know concerts. We had an arts association in Dawson that had wonderful concerts. She went to that. She didn't miss a thing the kids were in. I'd take her to all her appointments in Wilmer or Minneapolis. Did it ever dawn on you what you were doing was what we now think of as caregiving? We didn't even hear that word, caregiving, back in those days. And I, I don't think it would have made any difference. You just kind of notice when people have needs and you start to kick in and help them out. You clearly have a healthy lifestyle, so how does a healthy lifestyle affect you and others as they age? Well, I think I basically am living by example. I mean, my mom and dad have shown me how to live a healthy lifestyle. They're out working out every day, and I want to be around for a long time, like my parents. So, you know, there's a myth out there that as we age, that's a negative experience. You know, our sense of well-being, um, as we get beyond our, our 40s and 50s, actually gradually goes up in later life. And we are actually most happy in general, in the general population, uh, when we're in our 70s and 80s. One thing we've done, I think, over our lifetimes is we've decided to live. We want to live, and, and one way we want to live is to be able to do things. Do you think that you might now have a conversation with the girls as to what, what could happen next? We should have more conversations with them. My dad had told me there's nothing more important than family. I've always remembered that. And I think uh, we've tried to live our lives with our kids, showing them what we do. I mean, you just gotta get up every day with a great attitude and have fun. That's kind of been our motto. Every day should be fun because you don't know what tomorrow brings.